We've all heard jokes about how strong you need to be to separate two 2x2 two two plates without using your teeth. We've all tried using our fingernails or another Lego piece to do the job, and many of us have ended up with sore fingers for our trouble. That's why in 1990, Lego introduced the Brick Separator, a tool for prying and popping stubborn pieces apart. Since then, Lego has introduced two new Brick Separators, one in 2012 and one in 2020. The 2012 version of the Brick Separator is an updated design that includes a center anti-stud for removing jumper plates and a short tool for helping to remove stuck or broken axles and pins. The 2020 release is a four stud wide version made for use with Lego mosaic sets, made to be extra wide to help remove those pesky studs quickly. Today, we will be going over 25 uses for your brick separator. The most obvious use of the tool is using the studs to free pieces from one another. The studs have a slight lip behind them, which is designed to help leverage even flat pieces apart. For those who get sore fingers after hours of building or experimenting, this feature is a lifesaver. Another pretty obvious use of a tool like the brick separator prying apart stuck bricks. No more risking a chipped tooth to part those two by fours. And maybe more importantly, no more bite marks on your Legos. Just use the wedge opposite to the studs and press down to safely pry apart your stuck bricks. The third use for your brick separator is lifting stuck jumper plates. The newer design features a central stud. This means that you can use a lever to try and free any one by two jumper plates that might be difficult to lift with the wedge. Another use for your brick separator is to help during the process of building a new Lego set. It can be used to open the bags or to mark your page in the instruction manual if you need to stop in the middle of a build. You can use them in a build. Try using a brick separator for the wings or tail of a futuristic plane or spaceship. They can be used as pedals for a large sunflower build or flipped upside down to be the legs of a crane, tripod, or turret. You could use a brick separator to prop up a wobbly chair or table or use it as a doorstop or shoehorn. Just make sure if you use your brick separator for any of these things, you're not using a rare green one. You wouldn't want to damage one of those. If you have a wide brick separator, it can be used to scrape ice off a window or used for spreading things like spackle. It's better than risking a credit card and a lot cheaper if you end up damaging it by accident. That could be a very expensive mistake. You can use an old style brick separator to give a duck its signature web feet. The unique upward facing studs of the oldest design make it practical as a base for many builds. Try it out and see if you can make a cool flamingo garden ornament. You can use a brick separator as a way to flip basically anything. You can flip minifigs. You can flip coins. You can flip a car. Well, a Lego car, of course. You could probably even flip a water bottle if you're filling up to the challenge. Did you know that you can use two brick separators together to get double leverage for splitting pieces? It's pretty simple to do and can help free up any bricks that have been stuck together for a long time. Maybe you even used one of the illegal building techniques and now it's time to save your poor bricks. Use the studs to hold small but important pieces for a build you're doing. This way you can't lose them, even if you need to grab a snack. Just make sure you wash your hands before you come back to building. You wouldn't want to get your separator all greasy. By stacking several brick separators in opposing directions on top of each other, you can make some funky fidget toys that wiggle from side to side in a fun way. You can use this technique to build a slithering snake or a funky dancing worm. You can use two brick separators and maybe even other parts if you want to make a cool seesaw for your minifigs. Try using Technic pieces to create an interactive park for all your Lego minifigs to play in. You can make a big ring. If you have enough classic separators, you can even make a decoration like a festive wreath. Why not experiment with Lego home decor? It might just be the next big trend. Why not make a cool miniature scooter? You could use it like a tech deck and do tricks. Or if you'd rather, you can use a brick separator as it is and do tricks with a funky orange snowboard. See if you can master all the different boards and pull off some sick kickflips. After a long day of building Lego sets, your fingers might have gotten rather sore. But what if you're thirsty? Well, you can easily crack open the tab on the top of a soda can with the wedge of your brick separator. Give your fingers a break and quench your thirst with a sugary beverage at the same time. Build a giant brick separator. Try it out and see if you can make a big version of each of the different brick separators. Maybe you can even make big versions of the rare green color. Do you know how many sets contain a classic design brick separator in green? Six, to be precise. And there should exist two different molds of the orange brick separator, but I can't tell the difference. If you have different versions of the brick separator, why not make each into a different insect? Using Technic parts and some creativity, you can make a unique and fun bug design with the old, new, and wide separators. Invent something totally new. 
Why not try to use all the suggestions in this list so far to make something brand new and never seen before? Explore your creativity and see what cool guns, swords, cars, planes, or buildings you can make. Try to use your Lego brick separator in some illegal builds. Try to see what ways you can use this unique piece with some illegal techniques for unique results. Just remember that you might damage your bricks and separators if you do this. If it's good enough to split apart stubborn bricks, it must be strong enough to be used as a shovel. This is true if you are using one of the wider designs. Maybe you can use your brick separator to make a sandcastle. Just be careful to wash it off once you're done digging. The unique textured grip and sloping design of the brick separator allow it to be excellent ramps for Lego cars. Maybe you can use two of them to help drive a quad bike onto a flat back truck. Why not try to pull off some cool skateboard tricks on a brick separator ramp? Why limit yourself to using your brick separator for bricks? It works just as well for Technic parts, including using it to split apart stuck Technic beams. Just try to make sure the connector pegs you use aren't damaged, so your beams don't get stuck in the future. You can link multiple separators together by the studs. This can give you a much longer wedge to help lift up a lot of tiles or studs at once. This is especially helpful if you don't own or have lost your wide separator from a Lego mosaic set. Your brick separator can be used to keep your place on any new book you're reading. Just slot the flat portion between the pages and you're good to put down the new novel for the night. You could even put some eyes onto different separators to give your bookmarks personality. Lego's unique brick separator designs are sure to catch the eye and provoke your imagination. So get out there and see how many of the uses in this video that you can try out. Whether you've just received your first Lego brick separator or have a hundred waiting for use, you're sure to find yourself with a lot of new and creative ways to put them to use.